What's up, y'all? And welcome back to Dad Needs to Talk. I'm your host, Robert, and today we're going to be talking about Rooster Fighter Volume 1. <laughs> now, shout out to Viz for giving me um, early access to a digital review copy of this. Now, Rooster Fighter, um, it, it will officially be coming out August 16th, so a little over a month and some change from now. And the story and art is done by Shu Sakuratini. And like I said, it is uh, being published by Viz Media. So, Rooster Fighter. This is one that I kind of been hearing about a little bit here and there before I actually got a chance to, to read it myself. And of course, I know, you know, you know how, how I've talked about before, any of, you, any of y'all that have been following me for a while, talked about before how important a good cover is for a series and because I feel like a cover if nothing else needs to at least be memorable to where even if you don't remember anything else about it you'll know if you come across it again you're like oh yeah I remember seeing that cover and it sticks out in my mind um, as well as having a title a, a good title as well so those of y'all watching the video or that have seen the cover for this on the, on the um, audio only version, you see a rooster on the cover and it's just simply titled Rooster Fighter. <laughs> That's going to stick out in your mind. So when the opportunity came along to where I can read it, I was like, I got to see what this is about. And long story short, and apologies for my son Vash in the background screaming. He's happy about something, but uh, it pretty much follows this rooster who is on a journey to fight demons across Japan um, for vengeance is kind of like it in a basic nutshell. Now, Rooster Fighter, off out the gate, immediately surprised me, and hopefully this is okay for me to at least show just a little bit of this, but how detailed the freaking art is. Because <laughs> when, when I first loaded up the copy and was reading it and started reading it like how super detailed the art is is what immediately freaking caught my attention and just like how dope the like the action panels and stuff is how fluid it all looks I was like yeah yeah, I need to, I'm, I'm going to have fun with this one. If nothing else, I'm going to have fun with it. But, uh, but yeah, like, like Rooster Fighter, it is definitely one that, like I said, there, there's no super big, crazy, at least like not yet, like overarching story. But like I said, like the art of it looks beautiful. The action is freaking dope and insane. I, I'm already looking for, hopefully maybe some years down the line, we might get, a uh, we might get a, a anime or something whatever for because if 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 yeah, it, it would look really dope. But um, and <laughs> the other funny thing that caught my attention immediately also is that you get to hear the rooster as well as various other animals throughout the volume. You get to hear them speaking. Um, but it's more like an internal monologue that like all the animals can can understand each other, but humans and stuff of course can't understand them. But, <laughs> but th this rooster, like he has just like, he basically has a no Fs given attitude, um, especially when it comes to demons and to when, when it's like people in trouble, he will dive head first into the, into, uh, into action to save, um, anybody in need. Though after just kind of just double checking something, so one thing, and I of course got to give a shout out. So the the rooster's name is a uh, KG, and so because so one one of my favorite parts of this volume and slight spoilers, but it was uh because because the volume kind of shows him like traveling to like different locations and encountering different demons as well as other animals and stuff, whatever. Because um, there was one where he was like. Uh, hanging out with a bunch of like different birds and stuff within this uh, zoo environment and then one of my favorite ones is when he uh met this turtle named one-eyed silver 
um, on on the edge of like the coast area. Um, but I, I like that, like, you know, it's it's like it's like okay, yeah, there there is stuff going on in the bigger world with humans and demons and stuff. But I also do like that you get some type of like personal connection with each of the different animals and stuff that he you know uh, meets whatever because they all have like some type of like tragic backstory as to why they are the way they are and <laughs> it, it, it was just so dope um like especially like so that chapter with him and him versus the turtle and then you know them ended up working together um to fight this demon or whatever but yeah just, just overall like i said this is uh the the premise in general like i said it's kind of simple but that still doesn't uh take away from just how dope it is because you know you, you don't we don't always need like a super uh transicate and in-depth story or whatever but if you can have a series some, sometimes you sometimes you just need just a simple series with really amazing art really dope action and some some a little, little bit of a tragic backstory mixed in there but uh but yeah but overall like i said uh rooster fighter is one that y'all need to keep on y'all's radar and that y'all need to look forward to whenever <laughs> whenever it comes out sorry i'm laughing because i'll just glancing again at this uh at the uh the the tragic backstory of uh of the turtle but uh just because because like i said it's like it's like it's like his animals and you know the surface level is like okay whatever it's a rooster and a turtle fighting but just seeing like how dark <laughs> and sad some of their backstories and stuff are um like i said just just gives just much more uh life to the characters and stuff so but I'm, I'm excited to continue to read it um i'm definitely gonna still pick up this first volume whenever it drops out because i gotta support it and i hope that y'all will as well so if uh if anybody out there has already read some of rooster fighter let me know and if not you know are you interested in checking it out because like i said it's dropping in the middle of uh on august 16th uh and yeah um, i'm just curious to see like where things go from here especially with uh with a potential little sidekick he picked up towards the end and then uh another like really dope looking character that kind of shows up so if, if nothing else this series definitely has uh has style with it because uh that yeah this uh this character that shows up at the like this last panel of the volume i'm not gonna spoil it but they 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 look really dope because hey you you seen an animal holding a weapon with one earring um looking like one of the uh what are they called uh is it the patora earrings from dragon ball <laughs> but enough rambling i think y'all get the point um as always thank you for watching and are listening like i said if you if, if you're not already make sure you're subscribed and all that fun jazz and make sure y'all check out rooster fighter volume one and as i always say treat yourself to something nice read some manga watch some anime play some video games and live your best life and with that danny's talk is out catch you in the next one peace